Hello students, we have an interesting question from JEMAIN 2017 asked in the chapter current electricity. So we have given three circuits. We have to tell the power dissipated in these three circuits are which is greater. Options is like this. So you have to compare the power of the circuit. So in all the three circuit voltage is same 3 volt. So to proceed you know power dissipated P equal to V square by R. As voltage is same we can compare the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So power is here inversely proportional to resistance. So let's see for the first circuit we can read over here itself or we can go for a new page. Let's see. First circuit is like this each of one ohm resistance so this is pre volt see if we take this point as a this as b this as c and this as d let's mark the point here a b c and D. In between A and B we have 1 ohm resistance 1 ohm. In between A and C we have another 1 ohm resistance see 1 ohm. In between B and C 1 ohm. Then in between B and D we have 1 ohm resistance. In between B and D we have 1 ohm and between C and D also we have 1 ohm resistance. So better draw it in another way. See, Mark the point A, point D here, B and C here. Now between A and B there is 1 ohm. 1 ohm. Between B and C we have 1 ohm. B and C 1 ohm. Between C and D there is 1 ohm. C and D 1 ohm is there. B and D 1 ohm is there. Then between A and C one ohm is there and potential is applied across A and D A and D and each resistance is one ohm so it's it looks similar to a Wheatstone's bridge a balanced Wheatstone's bridge so current through this branch will be zero so let's see here this two branches in series and this two branches in series so net of this is parallel to this one that is 2 ohm parallel to 2 ohm so effective resistance is 1 ohm so effective resistance of our first circuit is 1 ohm R effective equal to 1 ohm for first circuit let's go for next circuit see the next circuit we have four resistance connected across 3 volt here current will divide like this this branch in this branch and in this branch 
current will flow like this each resistor is 1 ohm so combination of these two is parallel to this parallel to this this is 2 ohm this is also 2 ohm so 2 ohm parallel to 2 ohm will give 1 ohm which is parallel to another 1 ohm so net equivalent resistance of circuit will be 0.5 ohm this is for second circuit now let's see the third circuit in third circuit we have 3 volt battery connected like this each is 1 ohm see current will come here split here same current will flow through this two resistance similarly here also same current will flow through this two resistance and these two branches are parallel so 2 ohm is parallel to 2 ohm so it effective will be 1 ohm and this is series to combination of this 1 ohm and 1 ohm are in series so net will be 2 ohm so let's see the resistance of third circuit is greater than first circuit is greater than second circuit so as we told here p is equal to v square by r so inversely proportional to r voltage is same for all the circuit so we can write p2 will be greater than p1 will be greater than p3 so which is our option c c is the right answer to know more about power dissipation in a resistance you can watch the video here which is of small duration you can get the concept from book ncrt part 2 this is 12th class ncrt part 2 concept is available in 12th class thank you students